Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and welcome back to the free game development series. And this is my attempt to archive all of the key resources for game development together in one place. Now this is going to take me some time to get through this entire thing, and frankly I will never be done. This is an ongoing, never-ending project. And today what we are looking at is texture maps. We are looking at all of the best resources for texture mapping. Uh, and again, the commonality there is that this is all completely free. Now this entire series is over on Dev Game. And what I've done today is I've actually added this together with my 3D models resource one. I've already done a video on that and covered it in the past. I'll link that down below. And of course, I will link this entire resource down below. But what we are focusing on today specifically is free texture map sources. Now, if you've done any 3D work, frankly, it is texture maps that make things rock. And that is what we are going to go through today. Go through about 15 free sources to get high quality texture maps for use in your games. Um, now, if there's some conditions on being free, we will cover that as we get there. So without further do let's start going through them and again I will link the master page with all of the other links down below as well as the link to the whole free game to have home page as I'm updating it there will be more and more online so we will have resources for text editors code projects um, game libraries you name it all together in one place so the first texture place we are talking about today is CC zero or Creative Commons zero texture entire idea behind this one is it is a gigantic collection of 345 um, physically based rendering based textures no sign up no limit just go ahead and download them all of them are licensed under the cco um open source license which is always nice next up we have texture haven we're actually going to hear another haven later on uh this is another 100 percent free cco license there it is supported by patron uh the quality can go very very high and this is also a pbr based site as well great place to start when you're looking um and if you want to back them up, again, this is a patron-supported project. Uh, next up, we have textures.com. Now, I'm going to link specifically to the How It Works page because there are some caveats on this one. This is a huge collection of textures under a number of different categories, but the free account is limited to 15 images per day, uh, so you get 15 credits to use. Also, if you want higher resolution, you need to subscribe. But there are a ton of textures on this. This site used to be known as cgtextures.com, and there, the number of categories, the number of textures, it's in the thousands. So if you're okay with lower resolution textures and you don't need more than 15 a day, the free tier may definitely work for you. Next up, we have a pair. They kind of go together. This one here is Texture Ninja, all public domain. Uh, they're not even CC0. Like They're just here. Use them. No license condition at all. And they're broken down into a number of different categories of texture. So there's a lot of them here. Um, it's patron supported. Now I'm actually, this is a twofer. So this is Texture Ninja and this is um, Joost Van Hoot's page. And I think Joost is actually the same guy as Texture Ninja. It's the same basic textures, different way of getting them. This is done if you want to hit a giant collection of them for $1 on Gum Road, you can get them that way as well. So just to be aware, that's the same collection of textures I believe leave but all very high in quality as well next up we have 3d total now i'll admit 3d total almost didn't make it on the list because frankly it's quite outdated at this point in time uh, and the quality can be a little random but there is a pretty large collection of completely free textures here um so if you are looking for a texture map do be sure to check this out there is a ton here um Okay, so next up we have, uh, where are we now? Oh, Megascans. Now, Megascans is a, I'm on the wrong, I don't want you, go away. Megascans is a huge collection of commercial textures, 100% commercial. But what you'll notice is there is a free section of high quality, only 35 textures here, but the textures you get are very high quality. So I definitely figured I would add this. Now, Quixel Megascans is one of the biggest commercial repositories out there for textures. And this just happens to be the free sample. Now, I do believe they rotate out and there's different ones at different times. So it's worth coming back and checking it out. Okay, next up we have 3D textures, a large collection of textures free to download individually and you can donate to get a single, uh, all of my textures with a single click option. But otherwise, uh, there's a ton of different textures here broken down into various different categories, um, as you can see. All right, so next up we have Texture Lib. Now, Texture Lib is... A uh, large collection of free textures. Not much more to say, to be honest. Broken down into various different categories. There are 6,605 textures in Texture Lip. And you got a lot of things where you might have to 
cut them down a little bit for use in your game. But as you can see, there's a lot of game ready stuff right here. Now, when you get into the licensing on it, all images are taken by my own camera and edited in me by me, free for commercial and non commercial alerts with the only limitation you are not basically allowed to sell these alone or in packs. So he doesn't want you taking his collection, selling it as your own collection, which is pretty darn fair. Otherwise, yeah, just have at it and use them. He's a bunch of texture pictures he's taken himself uh, for your own usage. Now, next up, we have uh, Pixar. This is an oldie. Uh, this is a number of years back. Basically, Pixar, yeah, that Pixar, released a huge collection of textures. It's 128 tileable repeating textures that they've used in their own movies way back in the day. So if you need things like corrugated steel, leather, chrome, wood, you name it, there are a ton of them in this collection. It is uh, 268 megabytes to download. Definitely worth checking out because this is high quality stuff. Hey, it's it's from Pixair. Uh, and again, it's tileable, which is really nice. It means that like one side um, can kind of butt into the next side. So you can uh, tile or, you know, repeat these as many times as you want and it should be seamless with no edging. Uh, so that is a very useful thing. As you can see, breaks down, you got bricks, fabrics, fences, floors, uh, metals, etc. So a lot of the key things that you would use as building blocks in your own 3D scenes are in this pack. Now, next up, we have texture herb. Now this is another giant free collection. I, I got a feeling this is the same as the earlier one because uh, the site is looking very, very similar. Now what you will find on these ones is the quality is very, very random. I found some of them are high high resolution images. Some of them are, are quite a bit lower. So the quality here is a bit random. You go up to terms of use. The criteria are um, as is. All textures may be used for both commercial and personal. You're just not allowed to sell them um, as a texture pack once again. Once again, a very reasonable license condition, I would say. Next up, we have Game Textures. Now, Game Textures is a commercial package for sure, uh, but they do have uh, free ones available. Actually, I've got that a little bit backwards. The way these guys work is you can get a low res sample of any of them. or not sample, but you can get low res or lower resolution detail kind of versions of every single texture on here. Uh, but if you want the higher like 4K or 8K style texture, uh, you need to sign up and pay for that. So there is a completely free tier. So if lower resolution works for you, great. But if you need to have the higher uh, definition version of it, you're going to have to sign up and pay. So decent trade off on the whole. Uh, next up, and I kind of questioned about including this one or not, is 3DX0 or 3DX0, oh, I'm not sure which is on that. I guess that's an O. 3DX0 uh, is a collection of free textures available and even free models available. Now, the kicker is these are only available for non-commercial use, which is why I was kind of iffy about including it or not. Ultimately decided there because if you're doing a non-commercial project, you may find this very, very useful. Now, next up, we have Blender Cloud. Uh, this is basically, Blender Cloud is a huge library of Blender stuff in, in well, the cloud. Uh, this is their texture specific portion. And here you can see, these are all licensed as CC0 free to use for any purpose anywhere. And there are a number of different textures broken down into categories. Now this is obviously um, optimized towards Blender. In fact, there is an add-on available so you can access these directly from within Blender. But there's no reason why if you are not using Blender, these still couldn't be a useful resource to you. Now we're getting into a more general territory with this one, open game art. I've also would include them in my 2D resources section, 3D model section, because this is a giant repository for people to share free open game resources. Now the link specifically that we're looking at right now is to textures area. So they've got a number of different textures here. We've got uh, several hundred different pages. You can filter down based off of uh, the license that is attached to it by keywords and so on. Um, this is their texture section as it stands. The quality here can be very, very, very random from extremely good to ugh. But uh, so you're going to have a bit more labor intensive going through the process of what is here. But again, it's a giant resource. You do have to sign up to download, but it is completely free. Next, we have itch.io. Now, itch.io is a lot like free game art, but a little bit even less focused. This is kind of an indie hub. So indie game developers can post their games here, but they can also post their tools and art here as well. So what we are looking at right now in the search link you will get if you click the link um, from dev game is filtered down for free and textures. So we searched for textures and free and there's a, a mixed 
quality of them here. Some of them are quite good. Again, it's kind of get what you get kind of category because there's no um, moderation or anything else going on here. So sometimes they can be excellent and sometimes they can be uh, less excellent. Um, now we're kind of moving a little bit beyond the edge of texture maps with this particular one. And what we're getting in here now is HDRI. Now HDRI is basically used for environmental maps. Um, these are 360 kind of views or panoramas around you, a lot of times used for lighting. So you can import an HDR map, for example, into almost every single game engine out there and it will be used to light your scene or as a background, as a skybox. So it's very, very cool. If you've not used or started using HDRI maps yet in your world, very much do consider doing so. And if you are looking for HDRI maps, you can check out HDRI Haven. Now you'll notice Haven, that sounds familiar. Yeah, this is the same guy as Texture Haven. And again, completely free, completely uh, CCO licensed and driven and supported by Patreon. So if you are interested in helping them out, uh, they do make great hunter free HDRIs for everybody. And if you've not used HDRIs yet in your game, do consider it. You can get amazing lighting effects and results out of using them. Okay, now we're getting into an actual tool. We're going to get into just two tools. I'm going to finish it there. I'm not getting in specifically to texture tools on this one. I'm going to put those under the uh, the 2D category. So if I'm getting into like texture editing stuff, we'll be in the where I would cover 2D painting, etc. But this is more a kind of a, an on-the-fly resource for generating your own textures. In this case, we're actually creating sky text boxes. So if you need to have an environmental sky box, or, which is kind of an inverted cube texture that you can wrap your world in, at this point in time, if you played any game, you've experienced sky boxes, even if you didn't know that's what you were dealing with. Well, this site is all about creating... Um, sky maps for space. So here you can see various different options for setting them. You can have point stars in your environment. Uh, you can change the field of view. You can completely randomize the seed, which will give you a completely different result. And then when you're done, your texture is up here. You just save it down. And you'll see it is a very high resolution one, two, three, four, five, six squares, or also known as an inverted cube. And then you just wrap that in a cube in your game engine or a 3D modeling app of choice. And then you have a, um, a sky all ready to go or a space scene all ready to go around you. And you've got the choice of controlling the resolution that it is generated at up to 4K. Uh, you can have it generate as a single texture or um, as like, sorry, as a uni bleh, uniform texture or as a single texture uh, by clicking that guy right there. You can also have it render the sun or not render the sun. Uh, it's a very, very cool tool and I definitely want to recommend you check out. Now the same guys done this one and this is basically a planet generator. Same kind of thing, but for creating procedural planets. Much less useful, I suppose, unless you're creating a space game. But I figured since I was including his skybox generator, I would toss in his planet generator too because A, it's cool. And then when you're done, you go ahead and click save and it will bring down the textures um, in the file name zip file that you want. You also, you can see over here, you can control it via the JSON, the various different parameters that go into it, including the texture resolution in power of two increments, so like 512, 1024, 2048, 4096, uh, 8192, and on and on it goes. So if you are looking to create procedural planet textures, uh, this is the place for you. A little bit specialized in niche, but still uh, very quite cool. And that is the list. That is the entirety of what I have for you today. Now, I'm assuming that, you know, with textures, there are a dozen different sources out there that I probably have not covered. Some of them I didn't cover because of how dated they were or because I didn't particularly like the license they were under. And some of them I may have covered, may not have covered because I was just completely unaware of them. So do you have a favorite texture map resource that I didn't cover here? Now, do keep in mind, texture map tools, things for um, automatically generating thing, normal maps and that kind of stuff. I'm going to cover that in its own category. So this is mostly meant to be about raw map acquisition itself. And if you're interested in learning about texture generation and mapping creation tools, do stay tuned because I will, of course, be covering that as part of this series. Hopefully you're enjoying the series so far. Hopefully you're finding some stuff useful. If you have any recommendations or feedback, please do let me know those in the comments down below as well. All right. Uh, again, links as always down below. Your comments, always appreciate it. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.